to the same life. Oh man. Let's get everything set up here. Let me get my knife, all my fun stuff. We might need it. We're gonna open the box. Well, this is pretty much useless. Hey, Steve. It's good to see you in here and on the couch across from me. I watched a lightsaber review earlier and I thought you died. I'm glad to see you're not dead. It's looking awfully quiet in here. Is anybody in here right now? No, I only have one watcher. And that's you? Oh, there's two. Hey, whoever just dropped into the stream. Just getting some things set up here. I got a, a box in the mail I want to open up. I just want to touch base, just talk for a few minutes, test out my new uh, system. See how things are looking, you know? Let me throw you up on the screen, Easty. Boom. Oh. Hey, guys. Hope you guys are doing well. It's the day after Christmas. Um, if you're up for a low energy kind of chill stream, then this is the place to be right now. Uh, we were just chatting a few seconds ago about Brody Lee. Like, how awful is that? I've been a Brody Lee guy since CZW and ROH. The stuff he did with Dalton Castle was incredible. The guy had personality. He had the moves for a big guy, and he had just a giant heart. It's really awful news. Uh, his wife tweeted out that he died of a non-COVID-related lung issue, which is just horrifying. He's only 41. He's not too much older than I am. Like, that's scary stuff. Hey, Adam. Welcome. CEW Figs. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Truth. Brody, man. Like, he was going to be heavyweight champion soon. I just know it. He had the tools. He had it, you know? He had that energy. It's rest in peace, Brody. I wish I could throw up, like, a banner or, like, a rest in peace graphic, but I'm still too new at all this. Hey, Downfall. Downfall, camping with your dad and you're still here. That's dedication, my dude. I uh, I don't want to keep you from your dad too long, though. Camping's kind of cool, and moments with your dad are even cooler. So I dig it. Uh, I just wanted to go live and uh, just talk to you guys, see how you guys' Christmas was, say hello. I also got this box in the mail from a friend of mine. He's also a subscriber. He did a little uh, contest on his channel not long ago, and I actually won. So I know one of the things that's in this box, but he says that there are other things in this box as well. And uh, Life Anime Gaming is a channel here on YouTube. Good guy. He's put together a great group of people. We have a little group chat. And uh, within that group chat, I was the Star Wars trivia champion. So got a prize in here plus some extras we're going to pop open and just see what we got. You know, you guys have a good Christmas. Tell me in the chat. How you guys doing? Give me some some feedback. Things are things going okay, minus this Brody Lee news. You guys doing all right? Christmas was great. Dave, welcome, my friend. I'm glad to see you in here. It was great. It was great. I can show you guys my Christmas haul if you'd like. I got lots of figures and toys. I'm debating whether to do a bunch of unboxing and reviews, or maybe I just will do one giant video, or maybe I won't do a video. Maybe I'll just show you guys here, and you guys can get the inside scoop. I don't know. Hopefully, your guys' Christmas as well. I want to hear about everything you guys got for Christmas. What is the coolest thing you got for Christmas? Easton, what was the coolest thing you got for Christmas? A hamster. You got a hamster. Like, how cool is that? It doesn't get any cooler than a hamster. You got a few Lego sets. That's dope. What, what Lego sets do you get? There's a lot of real cool Star Wars and Marvel sets out right now. Frosty, your phone died. Zombie Star, 
Whoa, a PS5. I'm jealous. Am I green right now? Because I feel like I'm pretty green with envy. A Polaris buggy? Like a drive-around ATV kind of Polaris? We know all kinds of people, Dave. You're, you'd be surprised who drops in here. We got Adam. Q-tips. DK Metcalf. That is awesome, dude. I'm a big Kansas City Chiefs fan. Before, before Mahomes, no bandwagon here. I've been a fan since Trent Green, so I've been around a while. I can appreciate someone who's a Seahawks fan. And AEW Jericho. Disaster. That is awesome, my man. I need to pick up some new AEW figures. I have an MJF coming this week, hopefully. ATT. Oh, the Ahsoka and Obi. Dude, that is an awesome set. I am also jealous of that. Oh, Justin, what was your what, what was your present, man? You, you can't leave me hanging on one present for Christmas. You got to tell me what it is. Justin, talk. I'm sensing somebody in this chat's a Ravens fan. Diamond earrings for the wife. You got socks. Oh, are they at least comfy socks? You got to tell me. Uh, the AEW scale ring. Is that the one with Omega? That one's real nice. There's a Cody one. An England, uh, United Kingdom exclusive Cody one as well, I hear. I need to get back into Lego. I haven't done Lego in maybe five or ten years, but I used to have some really cool sets. Uh, my son, Easton... We built some Minecraft and some Mario stuff sometimes, but I don't have the patience for Lego much. I got to find something I'm really passionate about. The Wrestling Superstore. That one's huge, man. That has to be every bit of this. All right. That's kind of rad. I like Lost Dragons. Is it red? Because I would want it to be red. All right. Hi. All right, guys. I don't. I don't mean to cut you guys short i do like comfy but this box has been driving me nuts all day i picked it up at 9 a.m and i am not a patient person but i told the guy who sent this my friends that i would do this on stream for life anime gaming's their channel and i'm very curious as to what they sent me so if you guys don't mind i'm gonna open it up and see what's inside and then we'll get back to our little chitty chat here you gotta wow all right, Frosty, you had a good Christmas, my dude. That is a lot of cool stuff. I got some Star Wars figures, too. Maybe I'll show some off here in a little bit. But we're opening this box because this box, I've been curious all day. So, handy dandy knife. SJ, we were just talking about that, man. Brody Lee. It's really bringing me down because I really like Brody a lot. I have a couple Brody shirts. Been a Brody fan since he used to team up with Dalton Castle. So, like... It's hitting me a little bit today. That's why I kind of wanted to have a low energy chat just to, I don't know, take my mind off of it. It's kind of depressing. I know we got a lot of non-wrestling fans on stream and uh, some people just don't know, but Brody Lee's really talented wrestler, really great dude. It's, it's a shame. Love Red Dead Redemption too. I haven't played Watch Dog Legions yet, but I've heard it's pretty good. Easton, you want to get in and say hi to everybody? You want to come? By the way, this is my son Easton right here. I killed him earlier in my lightsaber video. He's not yeah. He's not really dead, sadly. Not sadly. Don't take that the wrong way. I'm glad he's here. He was hilarious. He was a really good dude. Let's get this box open. All right. Sammy and Justin both say hi to you. He's over there playing Among Us over on the couch. And he's staring at me, kind of making me uneasy. So, box is open, guys. Flippy flap. Ooh. Are those Arby's coupons? Nah, it's grocery store. I thought I was getting Arby's coupons. I got excited for a minute. Everybody's saying hi to you now. <laughs> Better not take my subscribers. All right, guys. So... Moment of truth. The box is open. Any any guesses what's in here? Anybody know? Anybody have any ideas? Sammy's in here playing paladins with my friend. What's paladins? I've never heard of paladins. Matt, hey, buddy. It's good to see you in here. I'm glad you dropped by. We've been talking wrestling. We've been talking all kinds of things. 
Got a mystery box I'm opening up sent from a subscriber friend of mine named Life Anime Gaming. Check out his channel. He does a lot of thrift hunts and a lot of the same things I do. Very, very cool. So, fingers crossed. Adam, your box still has not come. This darn United States Post Service is holding four of my packages. One of them is yours, and it is bringing me down. So, we're going to open this up right now. <sighs> Item number one in the box. Bubble wrap. It's a figure of some sort. I need a little, little. Is that? Oh my gosh. Okay. Life Anime Gaming. You, my friend, know that I'm a wrestling fan. We've got an Eric Bischoff Karate Gi figure. That is awesome. That's item one in the box. My wrestling my wrestling fans in here know who Eric Bischoff is. That's kind of cool. I dig that. You really know what's in this heart of mine. All right, let's get to item two. Item two. Well, this is a big box. You have that Eric. Well, now I have that Eric, too. This is an awfully bit. Do you, do you guys see that? I see NECA. I see Jason Voorhees, my friend. What do we have here? All right. Friday the 13th, part three. 3D NECA figure. Oh, man. This is cool. All right. Let's get in here. Let's have a look. This ring light's making it hard to really get in there. That is an awesome horror figure. I... Dude, this box is incredible. Life Anime Gaming, you are a champion. Side of the box. Reverse of the box. And that's cool. Rest in peace, John Huber. True story. There's one more thing in this box, and it looks like an unopened elite figure. WWE Elite. What do we got? Okay. All right. Gents, gents, you have to see this. My boy has sent me a Cactus Jack Elite figure. How awesome is that? What a great mystery box he sent me. I'm going to have to send him something awesome for this. This is cool. WrestleMania Elite Collection Cactus Jack. Bang, bang. That's cool. I need a Cactus Jack shirt now. And that is it. How cool. Life Anime Gaming, guys. Give him a, give him a subscribe over on YouTube. Talk to him. Really nice guy. His wife, Emily, plays the ocarina. He's got a great group of guys over there. Is Titus in here? Titus, good to see you. Thanks for dropping by the stream tonight. Life Anime Gaming's a rad dude. You're right. You're right. Let me throw that up on the screen here. Dave's Dungeon, you got it right. Absolutely, JEW. I'm always talking to people. I'm always trying to make new friends here. Yes. Justin, I think that is uh, part five, isn't it? That NECA figure? I've seen that one. It's a good one. The head scan is off a little bit. But, I mean... For it being a free figure that somebody sent to me, I am all about that life. Let's get in and check that head scan. I don't know if you wrestling fans will know McFoley. Honestly, that kind of looks like Dr. Death Steve Williams to me. I don't know if you guys know Dr. Death. I might be older than all of you guys, but uh, I feel Steve Williams with that. Also, I got a new microphone. I'm using a Blue Yeti, so if I'm screaming at you or way too loud, you let me know. Still trying to find the balance here. Is it, is it Yokohama, Titus? I've always wondered where you were in Japan. I've always wanted to go see Japan. And uh, every time you comment on one of my videos, I think, ah, that guy has to be living the life. It has to be wonderful over there right now. Things over in America are fun when it's not on fire. Great. Thanks, Dave. I appreciate that input. 
right. So how are you guys tonight? Like, honestly, like, besides the Brody Lee stuff, how was your guys' day? You guys doing okay? I picked up a bunch of uh, new subscribers today, made a lot of new friends. I think we're up to 366, 367. So I've got 67 subscribers since I last talked to you guys on live stream. It's probably been about five days or so. So, I mean, we're climbing. We're going to get to 1,000. Uh, I had a really good friend of mine tell me that my intro from the lightsaber video I did today was incredible. He says he really liked it. And that kind of feedback makes me happy. Like, I know those skits are kind of lame for some people. They completely miss with people and they'll like watch a minute of my video and turn it off and just whatever. But I will take that minute. I will take all the minutes because we're going to get to 4,000. We're going to get to 1,000 and we're going to make this a thing. We're going to keep doing this a while. True story. Oh, no, you got stitches, Titus. Ken, that's awful. You saved a kid from getting hit by a car. You got to tell me that story, man. That is a serious story. I'm glad you like the skits, Downfall. I try to, ma I try to make people laugh, you know? I, I just want to have some fun with my videos. I know a lot of people are really serious. Um, I really like Rocco the Great's videos. I think he's got a great blend of, like, funniness and seriousness. Um, and I, I kind of want to do that, but cranked up a lot. I want to, I want to be a better version. <laughs> Q-tip, you don't have to wake up for me. I promise. I'm not that interesting, but I do appreciate you being here. That makes me happy on the inside. Get this out of the way. I uh, was moving some things behind me today. I think I'm going to start expanding my office area here. Uh, I'm working on a, ca a man cave down in my basement, and I'm going to set up a big figure room there because most of my figures and toys are still in boxes. I don't exactly have a room for that stuff. Dylan, yeah. Dude, I got a ton of toys for Christmas. Do you guys want to see them? Life Anime Gaming. All right, guys. There's the myth, the man, the legend right there. Mr. Gaming, thank you for the box. We just opened it maybe two minutes ago, and we were talking about how awesome everything was in there. I am absolutely just shocked. You really went above and beyond with this box, and I am eternally grateful. Thank you so much. Yeah, if you guys want to see my stuff, I'll start pulling some stuff out and show you. I got a ton of new figures and toys and all kinds of stuff. Let's, let's do this thing. Do you want to help? Easton's decided that he wants to help me. Justin, you have dry humor, but it's good. I think you have a very nice balance. And your, your recording room's actually kind of fun, too. I'm kind of jealous. You have a lot more space and stuff in your area, and I think that's really cool. All right, so Easton has handed me my very first item to show everybody. This was the first figure that I got for Christmas. Armored Daredevil, Spider-Man the Animated Series Retro Card. I don't like to open retro card figures just because this hits me right in the nostalgia. This hits me right in the 1994, and that's a very delicate spot for me. I like it. You guys have anything from this series? Anything from this line? It's figure number one. Downfall, I am glad you do. You being here makes it easy for me to do this. Because without you guys here in the stream, I would just be sitting here twiddling my thumbs, wondering what I should be doing with my time. So I'm glad I can ramble to you guys, talk about wrestling, talk about toys, talk about toy hunts, talk about killing my son with a lightsaber. You know, we, a little bit of everything here. <laughs> All right, that's going on the screen. I appreciate that. Oh, I love NECA. Uh, I did a video a couple weeks ago. I got a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Big Chap glow-in-the-dark NECA figure that I actually sent off for a giveaway to uh, a watcher in Germany. Um, really awesome, awesome person. Uh, I actually think I'm probably going to do another giveaway here in about a week or two. When I get to 500, we're going to do a big giveaway. But I'll probably throw some details on that soon. I haven't thought about it all the way yet, but we're getting to 500 really, really quickly, so I probably better put some thought into it soon. Nice. 
Zombie Star. I like that figure. I haven't got that one yet, but it's on my list. I got the Kingpin behind me, and I got Daredevil so far. There's a few more I need to pick up. Oh, I like that vintage Captain America. Justin, good call. That's a good present right there. All right. Next figure for my Christmas haul. I don't know if you guys are Power Ranger fans, but I am. We've got the Tommy White Ranger Mighty Morphin figure with Saba. Got interchangeable hands. We've got a little ice, little, little blue ice colored accessory. We got a head swap. It's a great figure. Big fan. Hey, Colby. It's good to see you. Pizza Spider Man. You got Oreo Spider Man? Oh, trust me, Downfall. It's going to be everything related. It's going to be a mystery box of toys. I've been I've been kind of thinking about it. I think there's going to be wrestling and superheroes together. It's going to be an awesome box that everybody's going to want to win. Awesome unboxings. Welcome. Welcome. We're just doing a little chill live stream today. Talking about Christmas. Doing a little Christmas all talk. Just kind of, you know, just having a, a little chitty chat. All right. What else? Scout Predator. You got all the Predators. Terminator Police Station. Wow. You got all the awesome horror NECA figures, my man. I dig it. That's awesome. All right. Next on the agenda is Incinerator Trooper Star Wars Black Series. Now, I actually think I'm going to do an unboxing video for this because this trooper looks incredible. The flame accessory, the flame thrower, the color on the suit, everything about this figure is awesome to me. So we might pull this out and have a little little video about this in a day or two. I think we're going to have some content here. Oh, don't you worry. It's going to grow. It's growing quick. I've been doing this seven weeks now, and we're almost at 400 subscribers. It is rolling quickly. All right. Next on the agenda is we've got the armor from the Mandalorian. How about that finale, guys? Whew. Helmet. It's a great-looking figure. Got good good accessories, some smelting accessories. The box, ugh, the boxes are my favorite part about this black series. It just that is a great looking box, guys. You got a Bandai Slave One model kit? All right, put a pin in that. I'm gonna need to see that later in our group chat. I want you to send that over to me. I want to see pictures because that is freaking awesome. Thank you, Super Toby. Hey. I don't think I've seen you in the chat in a little while. Thank you. Thanks for dropping by, man. I want to see that Slave 1. I also love these figures. I appreciate the kind words about the Iron Giant. All right. We also got a little Funko action for my Funko peeps. We got an Infinity War Iron Man here. Great little Funko action. Now I guess we can get into the, the bigger stuff. Well, little Professor X... Little mini dome, little stocking stuffer. Love me some X-Men. And then, of course, if you guys were watching the stream earlier, I also picked up this bad boy for Christmas. Uh, my fiance actually got it for me. Um, uh, actually, my fiance's dad, in-laws, actually got this for me. And I absolutely love it. One of my very favorite things from Christmas time. You can see that. Oh. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. I haven't watched The Iron Giant in four or five years, but it is one of those movies I can watch anytime, anywhere. It's just, it's awesome. I love it. I also got a Black Series Riot, Riot Control Baton that we're definitely going to do a video on eventually. I don't know when, but we're going to open this thing maybe tomorrow. I'm going to film a little video about it. We're going to have a little fun. I have a skit in mind for this that I've got to kind of put together and brainstorm. But once the skit's done, this is going to happen. And last but not least from the Christmas haul is, you want to show it? You want to show it? He can show it is the S.H. Figuarts 
Avengers Endgame Battle Scarred Edition Captain America. Now, this figure right here is a great figure. I didn't expect to get it. It's that Bandai quality. You know what I mean? So we're definitely going to cut this open, and we are going to unbox him and play with him a little bit. Maybe do some photos. I might dip my toes into some toy photography. But that's going to be a thing. And that was my Christmas haul, guys. Yes, Mando's Nerf Rifle, 100%. I actually put a pre-order in for it, but it's going to be a while before it gets here. Uh, Captain America figure does look really good. I tell you, Bandai really knows how to make figures. Figure Arts is just one of those companies that they make premium figures. Like they're expensive, guys, but they are worth it. If you like quality, that's the go-to. Yeah, it's a really cool Captain America. Easton's getting a little overzealous. He's starting to show me his Christmas presents. I've already seen his Christmas presents. My favorite wrestling figure is... I'll show you my favorite wrestling figure. I keep it up here at all times. My favorite wrestler ever since I was a kid is Mr. Scott Hall. I know Scott's had some problems with alcoholism. He's had some life issues going on. But that day in 1996 when he showed up in WCW and he formed the NWO, that storyline is what got me forever into wrestling. So this figure, this black and red, black and white NWO shirt, elite figure, my favorite of all time. Keep it with me. I keep that thing strapped on me. 80s action horror movie. Ooh. All right. Oh, your Switch? It is in my work bag, which might be in my car. Might be in the back seat of the car. All right. Uh, my favorite 80s action horror movie. My favorite horror movie of all time is Child's Play 2. I love Chucky. Love Child's Play 2. I love Aliens. Aliens is probably my favorite horror franchise. Aliens 1 and 2. Awesome combination of movies. Current favorite AEW wrestler. You're asking the hard questions. You know what? No matter what, tonight, Brody Lee is my favorite AEW wrestler. Rest in peace, Brody Lee. Rest in power, Brody Lee. Rest in forever, John Huber. You have that elite hall. Matt, it sounds like you have an awesome wrestling figure collection. I want to see it sometime. Everyone loves the bad guy. You aren't kidding. Yes. Tons. Now, I live in a small town in Western in Western Maryland. Like, uh, There's a little section of Maryland that connects Pennsylvania and West Virginia. It's like a five-mile radius. I live there. There's nothing around. But if I drive two hours, I can be in Baltimore. If I drive two hours, I can be in Pittsburgh. I can drive three hours and be in Richmond. So I usually have to travel for wrestling shows. So I don't get to see a ton of wrestling shows. But I do try to go to as many as possible. I've probably been to... Five or six WWE shows. I went to the Royal Rumble that Blutista won. I was there. Uh, I've been to a couple AEW shows. I was at the first Full Gear with Moxley and Omega having their little fun death match. I was there. Uh, I go to tons of indie shows and little shows as well. My fiance and I travel all over the East Coast going to indie shows. We actually just drove to Chicago in August to see Black Label Pro because I needed to see Dan Housen in action. And I got to see Dan Housen and Effie and Ethan Page, and it was such an awesome time. Yes, we did just become best friends. I call Top Bunk. My favorite non-starter Pokemon, Gengar. Gengar is the guy. Yes, I agree. Uh, they have had a bad rap in the past. Their customer service is garbage. Uh, if you ever have a problem with any figures or you have an issue with the company at all, do not email them because you will get a terrible response. They are widely known for ignore ignoring their customers and just not providing any kind of relief at all. However, in the last two years, their products have really just been incredible. Their figures are awesome. Their prices are awesome. Their licenses are awesome. Like every time I go to Walmart or Target, I see NECA figures for new series that just blow my mind. I didn't know they even had some of the stuff. Um, I need to collect some more NECA. I saw a, a Thing figure the other day, uh, the movie The Thing, John Carpenter. It's one of my favorite movies. 
I saw a couple figures from that series that I think NECA made, and I need to find out more about those because I want them. Yeah, absolutely, Mr. Titus. If you want to shout me out to whoever you want, I'm here for it. I'm going to get to 1,000, and if you guys want to help me, by all means, please do. It's going to happen. Umbreon is awesome. You you got it, my dude. Least favorite wrestling figure ever. All right, I do have an answer for this one, actually. So when I was a kid, I used to collect the Bendem figures. Uh, I'm a bit older than a lot of you guys I know. Uh, the WWE Bendems from the late 90s. Um, I had a Ken Shamrock figure, and it looked nothing like Ken Shamrock. It was so generic, and it was built so thin on the wireframe. I lifted his arms up once, and I ripped his arm clean off. It was just, it was the worst figure I've ever, ever seen. City Demon Predator was a mess at release. Yeah, I remember reading about that on Twitter. There were a lot of people who were real angry about that. Chicken or the egg? You know what? I think I know the answer. It was the egg. I think there were two animals that had no business hanging out with each other that decided we're going to make a baby. And they made a baby. And it was a monster baby. And that monster baby was a chicken. And now here we are. Chickens are commonplace. It could have been anything, but we got a chicken. New Day does rock. And I'm sad that they broke them up. But I'm glad that Big E is getting a little bit of a push. Because Big E deserves a push. Big E's awesome. Such a good dude. Yes, The Thing is an incredible movie. Uh, I don't typically like remakes of movies, but I actually would kind of like an, a Thing remake. I think they could do a lot of cool things with it with modern technology, but I want the story to be different. I don't want a straight-up remake because John Carpenter's version will never, ever be topped. But I could do with some new horror movies. I could do with some remakes. I'm okay with it. Oh, hold on. I'm getting some messages here. Oh, man. That Slave One and Boba Fett look incredible. Okay. That is awesome. You've been asking 14 streams. I'm glad I could give you an answer. You remember those Bendoms. I'm glad you do. Sometimes I talk about them, and I think people have pushed them out of their memory because they'll stare at me like I'm crazy. I'll tell them I had a Farouk Bendem figure, and they'll, nobody's ever heard of them. You know, I've never seen Event Horizon. I know the plot. I know what happens, and I've seen scenes from it on YouTube, but I've never actually watched that movie. Yes. They are a heavy task to pull off. I would like to... See a few movies get remade. I'd love for... I'm, I want another Child's Play sequel. I really liked the Child's Play movie that came out last year. I'd be okay with a sequel. I also want to see an Exorcist remake. I think they could absolutely crush it with modern technology if they did a remake of The Exorcist. What LJNs do you have, Matt? I used to have a bunch of LJNs when I was a kid. My little wrestling federation I had. I had some cool ones. What is your favorite ooh, one through four gen starters for Pokemon? <sighs> Bulbasaur, always. Bulbasaur is great. Love me some Bulba. Uh, oh. Totodile. I like Totodile. And I think that, you know, I don't even know. I'm, I'm going to stay Totodile and Bulbasaur forever. You have a Farouk Bendem? That's funny. I don't think I've seen a Farouk Bendem in maybe 20 years now. That's cool. Nathan Bowden, my friends. Farouk Bendem. <coughs> Do you like mud? Does, does anybody like mudkips? Mudkips? No. I don't like mudkips. I'll catch one for the Pokédex, but I don't I don't mess with them too often. Do you like mudkips? What? Bulbasaur is your least favorite Pokémon in the whole world. Why? What did Bulbasaur do to you? I've never seen Dirty Harry. I would like to, but I haven't. Mudkip is your favorite, Toby? Why is Mudkip your favorite? 
You got to back that up with facts. I can't just read Mudkip's my favorite. Why? Mudkip. What is that? Uh, okay, that Hillbilly Jim figure is really awesome. That Hogan, is it the yellow Hogan with the arms straight up? I had, if it was, I had that one when I was a kid. Uh, I, okay, so before Toys R Us disappeared, I saw this Bailey Funko at least a dozen times. And I wish I would have picked it up. I walked past it, I walked past it, and then Toys R Us closed, and I couldn't get it again. And I've always thought about buying it on eBay. I might get it on eBay one day. That might be a thing. I need to check Dirty Harry out. My favorite legendary Pokemon. Does Articuno count as a legendary? Yes. Articuno. Followed by Ho-Oh. I like those two. I played the game when I was really young. Okay. All right, Toby. That's good enough reason. I'll give you a pass. Mudkip can be your favorite. Hello. Welcome to the stream. I oh, dude, look at that Simpsons avatar. All right. I like that. I need to get myself Simpsonized. I can dig this. This tattoo? Yeah. All right. That's a cool avatar, man. Welcome to the stream. I'm good. I'm good. We're talking Christmas Hall. We're talking wrestling. We're talking Iron Giant for a little while. We're talking about The Thing. Awesome movie. We're talking about figures, Star Wars, just whatever pops into our head. We're just kind of having a chill night, just kind of hanging out. Super 7 Andre is great. I absolutely love it. Uh, I want to pick it up eventually when uh, I recover from Christmas. Downfall, thank you for dropping in, my man. Have a good day. Camp with your dad. Have some fun. Have a s'more for me. That is cool. I dig it. I really dig that. That is a pretty dope Christmas present right there. My least favorite starter. We're going heavy on the Pokemon today. Pop. What's the one that evolves into Poplio? Is Poplio the starter? Or is, is Poplio the evolution? Poplio is the starter. I don't like Poplio. I don't like seals. I don't like seals with clown noses. Out. Get out of here with that. Hey, get some rest, Dylan. Uh, my channel is going to do well. I appreciate it. It's going to do well because you guys are here helping me with it. I appreciate that. It's glad to see you guys. Things are good. Things are good. Just kind of chilling. Uh, one of our favorite wrestlers died tonight, so we've kind of been talking about that a little bit, showing off Christmas stuff. Um you know, just getting our mind off the day. It's a day after Christmas, just kind of chilling. Least favorite wrestler ever has got to be Enzo Amore or maybe James Ellsworth. I don't like either of those guys. If you're watching these streams, Enzo, beat you up, man. I'm six foot three. I will rough you up, bro. Favorite sports movie. Favorite sports movie, 100%, has got to be Rookie of the Year. Have you guys seen Rookie of the Year? It is a great movie. Merry Christmas, Canadian Blu-ray. It's good to see you in the chat. I hope you guys had a good Christmas up there. Is it Boxing Day? Boxing Day today, too? So if you guys celebrate, happy whatever day you celebrate. All right. Also, Canadian Blu-ray, I need that morpher right there. That thing is awesome. I can't believe we've been doing this for 40 minutes now. It doesn't seem like it. It always goes quick whenever we have good conversation. Charizard, as a character, is an 8. As a Pokemon card, he's a 10, and I need all the Charizards in my house. Uh, I don't actively watch UFC. Um, occasionally I'll watch uh, if something cool happens. I do know two things about UFC that I for sure can 100% stake my life on. I do not like Conor McGregor. I want whoever Conor McGregor fights to destroy him. And two, Khabib is terrifying. He looks like he could kill everyone. Oh, Matt, well, I just answered that. Khabib all day. Ah, oh, no, you guys are back in lockdown. We should probably be in lockdown here in America, but Americans are dumb. Uh, we don't take orders very well, and lockdown has not been going great. I love the Goonies. All right, so 
I actually saw Goonies for the first time last year. No, two years ago. On the day my daughter was born. I have a two-year-old daughter. Uh, it was on TV, and I actually sat and watched it in the waiting room while we were waiting for her to come, and I really liked it. I don't know why I never watched it as a kid, but I'm glad I've seen it now. Hey, I just got a new subscriber, guys. Thank you for dropping in. Oh, man, you guys are the best. I'm going to get there to 1,000 so quick because of a great community. The toy community in general is awesome. Uh, I see a lot of you guys in here all the time. I have a lot of uh, trading card guys. I have Fortnite guys. I have wrestling guys. I have Marvel guys, Star Wars guys. But we're all connected together by our love of our fandoms. Uh, it's a great community. We all kind of look out for each other. We help each other's channels. We watch videos. We talk. I appreciate you guys. Another subscriber just came in. I'm going to be at 400 by the end of the week at this rate. Goonies is fire. I agree. You're going to make me choose between Bulbasaur, Articuno, and Gengar? You're a terrible person. <laughs> ah, Bulbasaur, because he's cute. Give him the cuteness. Goonies is top 10 for me. It's fun. I actually talked to Sean Astin last year. Uh, my brother-in-law, for his birthday, I uh, you guys know Cameo, that app where you can pay celebrities to do whatever you want. I actually paid Sean Astin to record a birthday greeting for him, and he sent me a 20-minute video of him telling me about his life, about the Goonies. He rapped a song for me, and just, like, it was cool. It was probably the coolest thing. Yeah, Sean, we were just talking about Brody Lee. That's awful. His wife just went on Twitter and said that he had a, uh, a non-COVID-related lung failure. It's absolutely awful news. Dr. Mango Deus Rex, hey, welcome. Yes, I actually do play Fortnite a lot. Uh, I didn't play for the longest time, but my son, Easton, who's in a lot of my videos, he plays Fortnite sometimes, and I'll play with him. And uh, I've gotten pretty good at it, actually. So if you ever want a game, let me know. We'll do this thing. Go chill out. We got a little rocket launcher action here. Uh, 1,000 by February is what I'm shooting for, actually. I think I can get 400 by New Year's, and then it's just all from there on out. Dude, absolutely. That's what we're here for. We support each other. We grow together. The Ooh. Favorite wrestler that WWE has released? Ugh. Shane Helms is my favorite producer that they released. Shane Helms has a great wrestling mind. He's brilliant when it comes to wrestling. So he's probably my favorite of Rusev. Miro. I'm going to give Miro. That release of Miro blew my mind because Rusev has all the tools to be a main eventer, and they just didn't use him. They didn't. They don't know what to do with guys. The problem with WWE right now is that besides having terrible, lazy writing, they have too many people. Their roster, including NXT and NXT UK and NXT India now and NXT Japan, they have over 400 guys in the system like producers and talent and people and up and comers and trainers and family members. And like, there's just too many people and there's not stories for them. They're essentially just buying all the things so that no one else can have them. And it's just wasting talent and it's killing the wrestling industry right now. Dude, Goonies taught me a lot. I feel this. Dude, well, I appreciate you being here. You being here is one of the reasons that I'm here. I couldn't do this without you guys, honestly. I'm just some goofy dude from Maryland just making videos of stuff that I like. If you guys like to come watch me talk about the armor and how great she looks and watch me toy hunt in fancy targets downstate, like by all means, watch me, support me, love it, comment, subscribe, tell your friends. I'm here. I'm hanging out. I'm accessible. I'm easy to talk to. I'm just here. Yeah, dude, I'll add you on Fortnite. Um, send me your username. I'll take it down. Neville Pock. Yes. Neville needs a push. Neville needs to be a main eventer. Neville needs to be a champion. 100%. RSN, what's up? We're just having a little chat, just talking, just catching up after Christmas, see how everybody's doing. Matt Cardona. Zack Ryder. Okay. Case of Zack Ryder is interesting. I was a huge Zack Ryder fan. And my friend Mike, uh, he's not in the stream right now. He has some stuff going on. Michael Rubert, he is a huge Zack Ryder guy. A Zack Ryder mark, if you will. Uh, 
he Reiner's so talented and Reiner's so smart and he's into figure hunting and he's got all these tools and he never ever gets used properly. He should have been a top guy. Him and Ziggler should have had pushes at some point and the powers that be just hold those guys back. Just blows my mind. Okay, yeah. I'm down. I will be there. After this stream, I'll swing by. I'll check out your video. He's already the champion of my heart. Like, he can be the champion of whatever he wants. Brody Lee. Like I said at the beginning of the stream, I wish I could put something up in the corner here and just be like, rest in peace, Brody Lee, because that's kind of where my mind's at today. Like, that's that's awful news. I knew he was out for an injury. I don't know what his injury was, though. Um, I don't think it was ever specified why he was out. But uh, it sounds pretty bad, whatever it was. And it sounds like it might have caused a blood clot or something. And it's just terrible. This crummy news all around. Make sure I didn't miss any of your guys' comments. Thank you guys for participating in this chat, by the way. Every time you guys send me a message and stuff, Sam, I did miss your message here. Your birthday's too. Yeah, your birthday's coming up soon. Real soon. I know. That's awful, isn't it? I was reading that the other day. I think it was Ringside News was reporting it. Ziggler should have had the push. And I'm glad that he had that Survivor Series moment where he took everybody out and looked like a million bucks. But the fact that his push was a ribbed Patterson just blows my mind because he deserves so much better than that. No, I've never heard of this. Hold on, let me look it up. Let me look it up real quick. Whoa. That could be the Eye of Sauron, man. We just need to cut it out in the middle, and that could be something terrifying. Yeah, isn't that something? Every day is Miro Day. Yep, 100%. That's so crazy. I've never seen that until now. That's nuts. Dude, ab absolutely. Like I said, I appreciate you guys dropping by and talking to me for a little bit. Like, it's good to have support of people like you guys to make this happen. This doesn't happen without you guys. If I was getting two views a video and one comment and four thumbs up, and if I was stagnant, I would probably give up. But the fact that, like I said, I've been doing this seven weeks now. I've made 18 videos in seven weeks, and every video routinely gets 50, 60, 70 likes. It's getting four, five, 600, 700. And my last toy, hunter, toy hunt got 800 views in a week. It's amazing to me. I'm just some schmuck. So thank you guys for your time and your energy. I appreciate it so much. Dude, that is an awesome pool. I'm jealous. The last time I uh, pulled anything good from Top's Finest, I pulled a Kofi Auto, and I got a Lana Redeem card. Uh, I want to start picking up some Undisputed boxes again sometime. Uh, I think the Undisputed packs are like $25 a piece, but there's all kinds of good stuff you can pull. I saw on, uh, on uh, Brian Myers' page that somebody pulled a Macho Man 1-1 Auto, and that is like the holy grail of cards for me. I would love, 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 love to pull a Macho Man Auto. Favorite Hasbro. <sighs> Duggan? Can I like Duggan? Am I going to get judged for liking Duggan? Because I kind of like Duggan. DiBiase's cool, too. He gets an honorable mention. Hogan's is okay, too. I'm not a big Hogan guy, but that figure's kind of cool. Man, this Devil's Tower thing is really interesting. I've never seen it until now. Are you dropping knowledge in my chat? I like it. No. <laughs> oh, I need a two by four. I can't do it without a two by four. I, 
think the professor. <laughs> yes. Hey, when does that that game come out? That looks really fun. Also, also, I think I have a birthday present for you in mind. I uh, I saw something at the store that I think you're gonna like. I think I'm gonna pick it up for you, but only if you're good. I'm watching you. I can't. I can't. I am so broke right now. Super duper duper broke from Christmas time. Sad. I don't even want to. I don't even want to feel sad about figures right now. But I've seen those Final Fantasy figures, and I kind of know where you're going with that, and it hurts my wallet just thinking about it. Yeah. Hey, have a good night. Take care. I'm probably myself going to wrap up probably in about 10 minutes or so. I try to keep these streams to an hour because I feel like any longer than an hour, people get burnt out. Like, I've never seen a sitcom and been like, I want to watch that for longer. Like, it's it's cool. So we're probably going to wrap it up in like 10 minutes or so. So I appreciate you hanging out for the bulk of this. It means a lot. Peace. Brian, welcome to the live stream. It's probably about 10 more minutes left, so I'm glad you dropped in to say hi. I feel like I haven't got a chance to talk to you so much lately. That's kind of cool. Derek Moore, he I wish he would have got a better shot at things. He'd be cool to see around. You got it. Oh, no way. A slash a 99 Tory Wilson. That's kind of cool. I didn't get any I got some Pokemon cards for Christmas. I need to get back into sports cards. I've got a ton of wrestling cards on a shoebox in my bedroom with all my action figures and Marvel Legends and stuff. I need to break that stuff out one day. Maybe bring it on stream and show you guys. We'll talk for a little bit. Holy cow. All right, two things. Number one, $200 for a figure that is not a hot toy is crazy. Number two, a build a fig Ragnarok sounds awesome. I want to build that. Number three, you just dropped a Prince reference in my chat. Bonus points for you. I don't know if I have a favorite subject. I kind of like everything. I'm all over the place. Like a variety kind of guy. Nathan, you have a good weekend too, my man. Um, it's good to see you in this chat in this chat talking for a little while. It's good to see you you guys that I don't get to talk to as often. It just kind of lets me touch base and like see what's going on. Corrupt, welcome back. That was quick. I'm glad to see you. What's your favorite subject? You make a video on your favorite subject and then let me know about it. And I'll be there. I need to figure out how this thing works. Like how uh, StreamYard works because I want to show you guys a ton of stuff. I want to go see this place. Can I show you guys this place? Does this work? Uh, Chrome tab. Look at this, guys. That right there. Devil's Tower. That thing looks phenomenal. I want to go see this place. Doesn't that look cool? Mm -hmm. I like it. All right, we're closing that out. Hey. Speaking of my lovely fiance that I travel the world with, here she is in the chat right now. Everybody say hi to Alicia. Yes. I would love to see more Buckaroo Bonsai. I feel like we don't get enough Buckaroo Bonsai. It does look like Vader's castle. Also, that's my dream house. A lot of people say they want to live in Castle Grayskull. I want to live in Vader's castle. Oh, look at that. You're getting hellos in the chat. I might not see that. Oh, I forgot to see one. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Now I can help you with this. I know of, I know some good lightsabers that you can get for that price. We we should talk about that. Talk about that. She's over there smiling like a fool. She's people are talking to her right now. Isn't that isn't that crazy? 
I've never seen anything like that before until you pointed it out to me. That's very awesome. Japan, 100%. I would love to go to a pro wrestling show in Japan. I think going to a new Japan show, like maybe Wrestle Kingdom. I think that's like real high up on the bucket list. I also want to go to Australia. Uh, a lot of my favorite... A lot of my favorite YouTubers are from Australia, and some of the stuff they show in their videos just makes me want to go take in sites and do fun things. Yes. Work on those kits, because I want to see those kits. Actually, I might send you a message after the stream later on. I want to talk to you about some of those kits, because I want to get into them, but my patience is very, very small. I don't know if I have what it takes to really get into them, but I want to collect and put them together. I think it'd be a great stress reliever. Queen. You can't go wrong with Queen and Weird Al. I'm a punk guy. Um, I like punk music. I like uh, a lot of indie punk. I like a lot of indie hip-hop, too. Uh, I love The Wonder Years. I love uh, Aaron West and the Roaring Twenties. Uh, Brand New. Uh, I like... Uh, there's a rapper named HD Bin Dope that I like. Um, I like a lot of modern music. A lot of punk. A lot of alt-rock. Underground stuff. I'm that hipster guy that likes that music that no one's heard of. But I try not to be obnoxious about it. Do you know the Wonder Years? Super Toby. Toby. Tob. Tob Tob. Do you know Dan Campbell and the Wonder Years? I am bummed about both of these bands right now. Because I had plans to go see Manson and Zombie this year. And those plans were canceled by our good friend COVID-19. Still bummed about it. <laughs> okay. You made a challenge that if I make 400 in a month, you will upload every day for a month. I don't know if I would have done that. Because I'm averaging about 15 to 20 subs a day, every day, for the last 15 days. So by Friday, I'm going to have 400 subs. There's no doubt about it. You might have just got yourself into a pickle, my friend. That is surprising. I don't know how old you are, but I don't know many people who are into this kind of thing that also know the Wonder Years. So I'm very impressed. Fozzie would be a fun show. Uh, they actually played a show about an hour from my house last year. I didn't get to go. I had to work that night, but that would have been cool. I would like to see them, too. I actually had a really good 2020. I mean, 2020 canceled a lot of stuff, and it's kind of been a big, raging dumpster fire, but I had a pretty okay year. I mean, I went to Chicago. I went to Massachusetts, I got engaged, I bought a house, I got a new car, I got to watch my kids grow up a little bit more. It, was, it wasn't so bad for me. I mean, it's all the fun stuff in the world has been canceled, but you make your own fun, you know? All right, guys, two minutes left. Get in those last minute questions. I'm ready. Hit me with something fun. And then I'm going to go make a hot chocolate and watch a movie in my jammies. Oh, no. Is she okay? Tell me she's okay now. Okay. I'm going to add that to the list. Oh, man. I hope she feels better. Send my well wishes to her. Tell her Sleeping Collectible says he hopes you feel better. She'll look at you like you're crazy, but seriously, sending some positive vibes your way. That sucks. COVID's no fun. I don't want anybody to get it. It's miserable. No.
Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. I don't know what the best wrestling match ever would be. Like, it's, t- it's tough. It's so subjective because everybody finds, like, different things they like and don't like. Um, if I had to pick my favorite wrestling match ever that I think is the best. Ugh, that's so tough. I'm going to put a pin in that. Worst match ever is uh, the Vaudeville Villains. Remember those guys? Versus Enzo and Cass. Where Enzo, like, tried to dive through the ropes and he gave himself a concussion because he's a dumb dumb. Worst match ever. Or maybe, like, Tori versus Alicia Fox. That was a pretty bad one, too. Uh, the best match, Sasha and Bailey from NXT TakeOver. The second match in that series. The one where she had Bailey's hand all messed up and she was stomping on it. That was so good. Sasha Banks is severely underrated. I don't I don't get her character sometimes, but she is just enormously talented. Corrupt, have a good night. Yeah, we're probably gonna wrap it up in a few minutes anyway. It's been going over an hour. Hey, Marvelous Collectibles. What's up? I hope you're doing well. Yes. Uh Yes, that sounds nice. If I could just sit here like this and talk to you guys and it would type everything out for me, it's like the ultimate in laziness. Like, it gives me a little nap. I'm okay with that. Yes. Razor versus Sean ladder match. Is that what you're talking about? Taker versus Triple H for the streak. Also in the top 10. Uh, I like Sean versus Taker as well. Sean versus Rick. Another great match. I don't know if you guys watch. Uh, watch uh simon miller's ups and downs on what culture but they go over a lot of this kind of stuff and i look they're my favorite videos watching youtube i watch them all day long jealous i i need to give i might send you a message too let's talk about wrestling cards because i want to get back into them and i don't know what to buy anymore i'm so out of the game i'd like to get some autographs at some point (laughs) me too all the time I'm surprised you guys are here, honestly. Like, I'm just... And just me. I appreciate you guys being here. I also agree. WWE's writing has been going downhill quick. And uh, I don't think there's any recovering. They need a miracle. Uh, I kind of want AEW to win the war. It's a better show. Better product. Yes. You know. Ooh. Is that the jackhammer that almost ended? The giant? Ooh, wait, wait, wait. What about William Regal versus Goldberg? When Regal wouldn't sell for him. That's a good one, too. Yes. I need to watch. One day I'm going to get in. I have so many shows and movies and stuff to catch up on. I'm so behind. I need to get on that. Ultimate jackhammer. That cracks me up still. All right, guys. It has been one hour in three minutes now. I think I'm going to wrap this up. I think I'm going to make some hot cocoa. I might watch Jingle All the Way. I'm kind of in the mood for a Christmas movie. It's the day after Christmas. I kind of want to watch Arnold Schwarzenegger chase after a tree. Easton, you have any words you want to say? You want to say anything to anyone? No? You just want to run away? Oh, oh. I get a trash can for Christmas. Goodbye. He did get a trash can for Christmas. Uh, yes, I do think they'll tribute Brody Lee. I think it's in bad taste if they don't, and they're going to want to avoid that PR move. I love magic too. Have you guys seen New Mutants? A lot of people did not like that New Mutants movie, but I kind of enjoyed it for what it was. It was a good popcorn flick. Yes. the When he bounced after taking that stunner, him and The Rock, top 10, top, top two sellers for the stunner. <laughs> yes. Subscribe for that Hall of Armor. Question everything. Knowledge is power. The more you know, reading Rainbow, Wishbone the Dog, or something. All right, guys. I'm getting out of here. I got stuff to do. I'm going to go relax a little bit. I'm off tomorrow. I think I'm going to take the family to go see Wonder Woman, uh, Wonder Woman 84. I've heard mixed reviews. I'm going to check it out. I have some more videos I want to make. I want to do a uh, video on that Black Series Riot Baton. 
I might do something on that Fig Arts figure. Um, you know, you'll see me soon. Keep watching. Subscribe, comment, like. Send that algorithm through the roof. Through the roof. Push me up. Let's get me over a thousand. Let's get me over ten thousand. I'll take you guys with me. It'll be a fun trip. It'll be a fun journey. Yes. When he did that moonsault and did the surprise win, that got me, man. Right. I don't know. I haven't seen too many great DC movies. I'm hoping this one gets me. I'm I'm into it. Shazam was really good. I'm hoping Wonder Woman continues that trend. Y'all are goofy. I appreciate you all. Until next time, guys. Good night. Sleep tight. I hope all your collecting dreams come true. Goodbye. Later days.